We could then click on it and click share. Brings us to this email. Send it to myself. It brings in all the information. If I really, uh, really look forward to working with you. We can also add our own, our own text in there. Send it and it's gonna send to my email. And we can send that to anyone in our organization. Hey everyone, this is Andrew Hess. And today I'm gonna to continue on that app we were making last time, and that's the SharePoint app. And so I did skip a couple of steps last time. You know, I just kind of was rushing through the video. So let me show you what I kind of skipped over, but it'll be in the properties of this video. So if you go to the properties of this YouTube video, I'm gonna have the equations in there so you can pick them up. One thing though is when I try and put the equations in the YouTube video, if I add HTML, like I add those brackets, it doesn't like it in the properties. So I'll put those in a comment. The HTML will be in a comment. But let's take a look and then I'm gonna add, we're gonna do the delete button. Uh, we're not gonna be able to save. I don't have the save working yet. All right, so. The things that I did was I kind of manipulated these buttons with variables back and forth. So if we look at this button, there's one large button right here. See, that's my button one. So I'll call this button overlay. So this is the overlay and visible button that's over my entire app, right? So there's a button here that when you select, it either you can have the menu open. Oh, oops, sorry. You can open the menu or it hides the menu. So when I click on another one, the menu hides. So let me show you. So when we click on that button, the button overlay, you can see here I have some variables. And there's three variables in here. So var, var menu, uh, var edit, so that's to tell me if I'm an edit or not, and then button visible. So this is also, let me show you. So let me click off. This overlay button, becomes visible and invisible depending on if I hit edit or not. Because say I hit edit and the button overlay is over top there, then I can't write in there. So I hide the, the overlay button. So the visibility property of my button overlay is based on, and I'll zoom in right here, but button, if this item is selected, then use this variable, else it's true. So, and the reason I'm doing that is so I can have this click off feature, right? So I can click on, click on, click on, click on. I can do edit. Here, the button is invisible. It's based on a, a variable. And so this gives me this click off feature. So I can do this, edit, click off, it goes back. So I can click edit, right? I can write in something. Now I don't have a patch statement built in here. I can change this. I can make this a drop down, but that's what I have built in. I'm going to put all these formulas in the properties of the video. Another thing is on my screen one here on the on visible property, I'm setting up these variables at the beginning and we probably need one more. We probably need the update context um, variable menu to be false, right? We don't want it to show up. So say I, I was on the screen, I went home and I came back. I don't want the in edit menu to stay up. Let me take that out just to show you. And I'm going really fast, but I have to. It's YouTube. Um, so let's take it out of the on visible of the screen one, just to show you what I'm talking about. So this var menu false, we're going to take that out. I click on here. Let's say I hit edit, right? Or, or I, I hit this button. I can see the edit menu. If I go off and come back, you still see that edit menu. I want it to refresh, to reset every time I come off the screen. And come back I don't want the edit menu to appear so on the on visible property I'm adding that variable here to say no don't show that when we first come to the screen so when I'm on home I'm on my home I come to my projects you don't see that men that menu there what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the delete so the delete button that is this one right here so this is my button delete and all we're and this is pretty simple pretty basic on the delete button and I have it highlighted here it's just remove you select the data source which is my SharePoint list and then you just say um, uh, this item right there so now let's say we have an item we're in here I click on test one I hit delete it's gone 
That's that's how easy that is. Now you could make up a pop-up menu that says, are you sure you wish to show this item? But what I wanted to do is I wanted to go into a new button and I wanted to create the share. So if we come into here, there is a share. Let's let's do that. And I'm, I'm probably gonna do it different than the way SharePoint does it, right? You can hit share and invite people um, to that line item. But we're gonna do it different. I'm gonna create a share button. So in my buttons here, I'll, I'll make it appear. Oops, let me just make it appear. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna in or I'm gonna copy my edit button. Copy, paste, and let me rearrange the order and, and make this so you don't have to watch me struggle. All right, so I just kind of messed with the Y values and just made it so if the share button's at the top, then you have your two just to kind of mimic uh, SharePoint here. So we have our share button, it's a little bit bigger, it's here, and then we have our edit and delete. Now with the share button, what I wanna do is I wanna email the user with this line item and all of its details. So the, the fast way to do this is I'm gonna go create a new screen, but I'm gonna choose a template and it's going to email. Now, what I normally do is I take out this message here. I don't like that part. I want it to be a, a rich text editor. So I'm going to put that in here. I want it to be a rich text editor. I don't want it to be that basic chat box. Then I'll just fix the problems in here. So this one has a problem. Um, it just kind of has the name in here. Text email subject. No, text email message one. So I believe I'll just rename this instead of rich text editor. You can see it's named rich text editor. I'll just rename this to text message um, one, and then I have to change it to um, HTML text. So right here, HTML text. Okay, so that fixed that now. So now we can email um, based on this rich text editor. And in the rich text editor, I'm going to pull in each of the fields. All right, so I just wrote some, some HTML in there. You check out this HTML. You know, I just kind of made it a list with OL. I said it was a list item, put bold in there and not bold, and then put spaces in there. So we've built out this email. Now we can send the email to myself. And we could even, in the subject, we could uh, change this, the default to gallery1.selected.title has been shared with you. <clears throat> so now this uh, email template is already set up. I can just send this. I'm going to send it to myself. So I sent it to myself and it came through with all that HTML jumbo garbage. In the send button right here, import, I believe we can write is HTML true? So yeah, I am correct. You could just change this to a capital H actually right here. And you need a comma. So we set that up. So we click on one, we click share. It then brings in all my info. I pick who I want to send it to. Send it to myself. I send it. Now it's sent. Maybe um, after we send, we might want to also go back. So maybe at the end, we do back. And in my email, now we have that nice, awesome uh, HTML text. My first subtask has been shared with you. We have it in a list item format, nice and simple. We've made a share button on our Power App. So we can just click here, click share. We have edit, we can edit. I don't have save set up yet, but we could do that. I mean, really cool, really powerful what we have here. So we've kind of rebuilt um, the SharePoint using the SharePoint UI. If you wanna do the patch part, I'm gonna leave that up to you for now. If you beg me in the comments, okay, I'll make a, a video about how you patch this. But right now, the main importance of this is to set up the UI UX. That's what I really want to show is the UI UX, not the how to do patching, how to do all that. But we've set up the UI UX. We can share. We can go back, edit, 
Delete. Really neat. Really slim looking. Thank you. I will see you next week. If you haven't liked or subscribed, please like and subscribe. My name is Andrew Hess. I'm a Power Platform developer. I'll see you next week.